The main playbook for Jewish anti-missionaries is Faith Strengthened, or Hizuk Imunah, by Isaac Troki, a Karaite Jew of Lithuania. The text consists of two parts. One, countering Christian missionary arguments, and two, attacking the New Testament. Personally, I am more interested in the second part than I am in the first. I do not always agree with the standard proof texts for the Messiahship of Jesus, and hence I will have points of agreement with Troki, which I will try to minimize. Nevertheless, it's important that anyone who deals with evangelism or apologetics with Jews become familiar with these objections. This is not because most Jews are even aware of these objections, but because it is dishonest to witness the Jews while refusing to study and evaluate the objections to Jesus. Faith strengthened is the standard text from which anti-missionaries pull almost all of their arguments. It is similar to Cardinal Bellarmine's disputations, from which traditional Roman Catholics pull their arguments. Because of this, apologists who are familiar with the arguments from Faith Strengthened and who also have responses to these arguments will be very strongly prepared for Jewish evangelism and will be able to answer most objections from Jews graciously. My journey through Faith Strengthened is mainly for myself right now. I too need to become more familiar with these arguments and their responses if I am to engage in public debates against Jewish anti-missionaries. Faith Strengthened is a book of biblical arguments. This means that the historical arguments advanced by William Lane Craig, Mike Lacona, Gary Habermas, and N.T. Wright are outside the scope of the book. Instead, the author argues that the Jewish people know the original text in a way that the church does not. This was definitely true when the book was originally written. However, the advent of today's scholarship of Semitic languages gives the Christian Hebraist an advantage over the rabbis. Furthermore, Troche's point of contention that Christianity is committing spiritual genocide is unfounded. Most Jews who lose their affiliation do so as a result of becoming secularized. They assimilate into society and will convert to other religions in order to marry. Also, many Jews who believe in Jesus maintain their cultural identity as Jews. An example is New York City, where there are so many Jewish Catholics that some churches have special services for their Jewish members. Also, the return of the nation of Israel is helping to ensure that there will always be a Jewish nation, regardless of what religion the inhabitants practice. A. Lucan Williams notes three major flaws of Isaac Troche in Faith Strengthened. First, Troche forgets, or is not aware, that the New Testament was written by Jews, and must be judged in its arguments by Jewish methods. Isaac Troche argues as though he thought that the New Testament was written, for example, by a learned and logical Pole of his own time. In other words, Rav Isaac fails to judge the New Testament by the same standards that he would apply to his own works and to the Talmud. Secondly, Troche misunderstands the Christian doctrine about Jesus. He forgets, whenever he can score a point by doing so, that Jesus was not only God, but also man, with manhood perfect and complete in every respect. Thirdly, he fails to see the attractiveness of the character of Jesus, and confines his argument much too exclusively to the relation that Jesus holds in word and work to the prophecies of Messiah contained in the Old Testament. The goal of this project is to respond in blog post form. After all 150 chapters of Hizuk and Munah are covered, I will revisit and expand each post and turn it into a YouTube video. Troche's book is somewhat out of date, but still is the primary playbook for anti-missionaries today. So let's get started in finding some answers to Troche.